Hello everyone, so last week we had the big one, this week we've got the long one, um, I'm about to travel 11 hours to watch my team uh, in the National League North, sixth tier of English football, so probably our longest away day, um, but you know, gotta be done, gotta go back the boys, everywhere we go and all that, so see you there. So if you're new here, uh, basically, um, not really a blogger or anything, I'm just a Scarborough Athletic fan that likes non-league follows his team I'm not very good at editing <laughs> yeah it's just sort of real world stuff so yeah that's some interest here go home and away uh, film most weeks so yeah like subscribe follow share so I can buy a McLaren love you bye landed in Gloucester it's about five to two so yeah took a bit longer to get down here traffic on that Bit of wander to the ground from uh, where we got dropped off. So yeast. See what it's all about. First time being here. Missed it last year for uh, work commitments. Because believe it or not, sea dogs on tour don't pay the bills. So yeah, see you down there. Over and out. This is Pete Warner. Yeah. He's supported Scarborough since 1882. Yeah, I'm one of the original ultras. Yeah, I'm 115. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm you don't look a day over 90, mate. Oh, thanks, pal. Found it. Found it. Tag a turf. Let's go. Yeah, first impression of uh, Gloucester's ground. I like it. Looks like it's made mostly out of containers, but yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a good setup. Soft segregation, so yeah, should be good. I think we're gonna fill this here. Well, when I say fill it, people that have turned up, but yeah, should be good. And flags up then, so it's waiting for the uh, warm up about 50 minutes an hour away from kickoff. Soon be there. Sea dogs! Sea side! Sea! Come on, lads! Yorkshire, 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 Yorkshire. Come on, Luca. Again, again, again. Ah. He's going for it. Absolute. Yeah, slow start really from both teams, but just got caught out on a counter. Kids cut in from the right hand side from a good pass. Just curled into the far corner. It's one 0 Gloucester. Come on! Corner ball, first sort of real concrete chance. <laughs> Gloucester just seems to be getting like all the second balls, pressing us really high in the midfield. So just can't seem to get hold of this game. It's... Lucky escape off the post from a corner. About uh, three minutes to go to half time. Hopefully, we can hang on at least. Ready to half time, one nil down. Just couldn't really get uh, get a hold of that half, so hopefully shooting towards us this half. Group together, get a bit of atmosphere going, hopefully pull the boys through to get some sort of a result here, whether it'll be a draw or a win. <laughs> Ideally all three, but you know, take a draw at this stage. Got Mr. Taylor, who's who does the commentary. Having a weekend off? Yes, I should be here. Why? Because I should be with me was 80. Oh, he, can, he can have that any weekend, can he? Yeah, he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only 80. What do you think to the half? 
tough, tough watch. Tough watch. Uh, just need to uh, close it down a bit. Close it down here, yeah. first balls. See what we can do, eh? Good start to the half, uh, addition of Harry Green, a couple of attacks, nothing sort of clear cut but some shots on target at least, down the right end of the field, sun is right in my eyes, so no cap, one day I should have brought my cap and my sunglasses but we keep going. Come on Harry, come on Harry, oh, that's brilliant, oh. Harry, Harry Gray! Come on, Harry. Getting used a lot down this side now, is Harry. Can't deal with his pace. Come on! Oh, well in. Come on, Harry! Harry! Harry Green! Harry! Harry Green! Harry! Harry Green! A team of Harry Greens! A team of Harry Greens! We all dream of a team of Harry Greens! Oh! Being all of this second half, sort of first 10 minutes, and Gloucester have sort of had one attack. We've got a penalty from it, so let's see what they do. Come on, Ryan, come on. We need a bit of luck. Bit of luck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sky, you come. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's missed it. He's there. Obviously lent back to eyes, put it over the over the bar, over the stand, top right. Sometimes in these games you need that look, so let's play on it and get a goal back. Come on. Super, super front, super, super front, super, super front, super Frankie Mullen. Come on, Frank. Oh, just missed everyone. Just shy of that man, Will. Come on, Scarborough! Come on, Borough! Come on, Borough! Come on, Borough! Come on, get at him! He's on, he's on! Come on, Greedy! Down. Come on, Luca. Oh, man, just need that look. Come on. Ah, uh, just it's the post, bounces out, similar to the last game against Southport. A few chances against the post, against the bar, just don't bounce right for us at the minute. That's how it goes, but come on, we can get somewhere from this. Come on, Harry. Uh, uh, no one there. Six minutes added on. Uh, refs having a word with Bailey Gooder because they've just made a sub and it's taken him about nine years to get off the pitch. So, yeah, they go in. Whenever we seem to do that, we always seem to get punished for it. But whenever anyone else seems to do it, it just gets let go, I don't really. Seems to happen a lot, that. But anyway, we keep going. Six minutes, come on. Come on, get beyond him, get beyond him. Oh. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Just over two minutes left. We need to do something now. Come on, long throwing Brownie. Oh, no one there. Ah, oh, full back again. Well done, Harry. Oh, Come on, Luca. Come on! Come on! Wait some, wait some, wait some! Last chance saloon now. Whitley's up. Come on. Come on. You're watching, man. Come on. Come on, skin him, Harry. Is that knee all right, lad? The Northern Bastards. Still must be another three minutes or so. Yeah, come on, fuck it! Full time, 1 0 Gloucester. So we leave Gloucester City with no points. Another defeat on the road as well, long way. But we'll get through this. Obviously, we're in a blip at the minute, but all we can do is stick by the team. And you know, every club goes through this, so anyone's getting sort of discouraged from turning up. You know, I'd hate to see the, the home attendances, especially sort of start to dwindle now because of this but i think when you're going through a time like this you need you know they need our backing more than ever so i say don't let it put you off and see you at the next game see you dogs